Hey, yo, what's up, guys? It's your boss, Ladarius. Welcome to another video on the channel. As you know, on the channel, talk about car all day and every day. And right now, I'm going to show you how you can use your T Core to buy some NFTs. So, we'll just go to the browser section, and this is the site. I had made another video way before the hybrid testnet was introduced. And you're going to test out whether we can buy even more testnet NFTs with this site. So you'll find the link in the video description. And if you don't know where the video description is on the video that you're watching right now, just tap on the arrow icon next to the title of the video. Then it will show you the video description. Just tap on more so that you can see the full description. And right here, I'll be placing the link at the top just before step number one. So you'll also find other links that you can follow up. And if you want to contact me, my DM link is on step number four. So let's get straight to the video. So once you've copied the link from my video description, you'll just go to the browser of your MetaMask and then tap on the pages so that you can add a new page. Then tap on the plus sign at the bottom and then paste the link that I had showed you that will lead to the site of where we'll be buying our NFTs from. So for me, I've already opened the page, so I'll just go back to the site. And now the thing that we need to do is to tap on the connect wallet. So make sure that you've already followed up on how you can connect your MetaMask to the core mining testnet. So just tap on the connect wallet and tap on connect. And now you can see that it shows mint app and then show apps. So if you want to see the apps that you've already bought, you can just tap on the show my apps. It says that you don't have any app. So for us, we're going to tap on the mint app so that you can buy some NFTs. So they say that we need to have 5 TBTCS. I don't know why, why they haven't changed it to Tico. But right now we're going to go to our wallet to see whether we have a balance of more than 5. So you see that our balance is still at 0 0.2 Tico. And you're going back to a browser. It will go to the validator site because we have already delegated our T core on the validator site. So we have a balance of 756 T. And right now you're going to undelegate all the T core that you have so that you can see whether we can buy some NFTs. So I'll just go to undelegate, then undelegate coin. And normally it undelegates all the coins. So you don't have a choice to undelegate maybe half of the, of the coins that you have delegated on the validator site. And when you go to our wallet, we have 756 Tico. So we can go back to the browser section and on the Mint app website. That's where we'll now buy our a NFTs. So these are the app, but they're only for testing. They're not the real app NFTs. So I'll just tap on the Mint app, then tap on confirm. And now when the transaction is completed, the page, so right now we'll just wait for a bit and now you can see the transaction is already completed. And now when we tap on the show my apps, you see they say that we have one app showing for the first 10. So it will take a while before it shows the complete app NFT, but we can reload the page so that you can see the exact image of the NFT that we have just bought. So we'll also tap on the show my apps again and I can see it has already loaded. So it shows that our app is number 28657. So that is the NFT that we've just bought. So right now when we go back to our wallet, we won't be able to see the NFT because it normally sh shows on the NFT section. But I'll show you how you can be able to import your app NFT that you've just bought. So just go back to the browser section on the website where you've bought your NFT. So you will just tap on the contract address shown in blue then on this section is where we'll go and copy the nft contract address for our exact nft so this is the transaction that we have just made and you can see there are others that have already minted their own app nfts so you see that the token tracker shows base c for satoshi testnet so in order to import your NFT and for it to be shown on your MetaMask wallet, you need to copy this contract address of the NFT that you've bought. And when you copy that, you need to go back to your MetaMask. So you need to also remember the NFT ID number. So for me, I didn't save that NFT ID number. So I'll go back to the browser and then go to the show my apps so that you can see the ID number of the app NFT. So it is 28657. So I hope that you'll also remember that with me, 28657. Then go back to our wallet 
and then on the nft section just up on that and then go to import nfts so we have already copied our contract address that's what you're going to paste right here and then once you've done that on the id section you'll just input the number that you have been shown on the nft id so it was 28657 and then just tap on import so if this too much then your nft will be imported to your metamask and right now you can see that we already have the base c4 satoshi testnet so we now have our nft and it only costs 5t core so you can see this is the transaction and you can do this multiple times we already have 751 so you can even buy 100 more nfts so this is only for the testnet there's no true value in these nfts and if you want to see the exact picture of your nft you just need to go back to the same website then go to show my apps and it will show your app the one that you've bought with your tico so you can also do the same you can tap on mint app to buy another app nft it only costs five tico and then it will be shown in your collection of nfts that you've bought now it shows that we have one app but once it reloads and now that the transaction is completed when you tap on show my apps it will now say that we have two apps so we'll just wait for the next one to reload and as you can see this is the next nft that we have bought which is id 28658 and if you also want to see it on our metamask we'll go to the same contract address and then We'll just tap on the copy of the address that is shown above and we'll go back to our MetaMask and then go to the NFT section, then import NFT. We'll just paste the address, then input the ID, which was 28658. And then we'll tap on import. Now it will be shown on our MetaMask. So even if you have a hundred, they'll all be shown on our MetaMask. But the exact image can only be seen on the website that you've bought the NFTs from. So that's how you can buy your own NFTs and it only costs 5 Tico. So with the amount that we have, the 746, we can buy multiple. And this is how we'll also be able to buy our NFTs after the minute launches. But make sure that you don't buy um, fake NFTs that won't be of value. And for those who have not yet started mining, you can join by using the link in the first step in the video description below subscribing to the channel will also give you an edge over other miners because they'll be sharing even more ways that you can earn from the satoshi app and also how you can increase your hash rate so that you can gain more core coins with time thanks guys for watching and hope to see you in the next one peace out